Okay, well I'm calling this my emergency pulse motor. And uh, this is about as bare bones as you can get it. Double A battery, a reed switch taped in series with the wire, and a fidget spinner with some uh, little magnets uh, just stuck on the bottom of it. Um, this is what I'm calling it the emergency pulse motor and I was using a 9 volt battery here but you can run it on a double A and it's just uh, as bare bones as you can get it and uh, today is the uh, 31st of August 2017 I'm lid motor and the reason I'm calling this the emergency pulse motor is I'm not at lid motors labs uh, because of the house redo I had to move everything that I had over to another house uh, 40 miles away and there's all my projects up there running and yeah, this looks like the ocean but it's not it's just a mural <laughs> that my dad put up there um, anyway this is an emergency pulse motor it's a uh, copper beading wire that I got at a um, change the focus here copper beading wire. I got it at the craft store. It's not very much. It's about 30 gauge. Um, the uh, reed switch I had in my junk stuff. Uh, AA battery uh, with tape. I'm just using uh, tape to tape everything together. Um, like I say, this is a uh, reason I'm calling this emergency pulse motor. This is the first thing I've built over here at this house. And I just wanted to show people that you can, uh, if you're a pulse motor junkie like I am, you can scrounge around at a local store, or see whatever you got, and build yourself a, a pulse motor out of almost nothing. And this is just a, um, try and get this off here, one of these fidgets, and I put some magnets on that. They're just stuck on there with magnetism. And uh, just put a piece of dowel rod and a piece of wood and this copper beading wire. It's for jewelry. And then uh, you can make yourself up uh, an emergency pulse motor. Let me go the right way here. There it goes. Anyway, like I say, this is the, the first project I've done here at this new location. And I brought all the uh, non-stop running motors over here and set them up about a month ago to run. And they're doing fine. Um, the ones that run on solar energy get enough sunlight here. And then uh, all the other ones are just lined up along here. And I don't know if these are going back to the other house or they're going to stay here. Uh, the wife likes the house uh, empty the way it is right now. So we may end up just having it uh, over here. But anyway, I just wanted to show people you can make a pulse motor out of very little. You can just scrounge around and get a few basic parts. Thanks for watching.